Good morning, GMS. I'm Evelyn. And I'm Lincoln. Welcome to the GMS News Show for the week of September 20th, 2021. Your books are on sale at yearbookforever.com. There's a link on the GMS homepage. Current price is $35. The price does increase as the year progresses. Remember, the GMS production of Cinderella is being held at the high school auditorium on September 25th at 7 p.m. and the, September 26th at 2 p.m. The GMS Walkathon will be Friday, September 24th. Students were sent information last week. All you need is a $10 donation to participate. See a teacher if you have any questions. A quick reminder about the just code. Remember, all, ma all pants must be a standard length, must be standard length garments. Therefore, shorts, skirts, dresses, and more must be fingertip length or longer without with or without garments underneath. Thanks for your understanding. If your child is renting a device, please remind them not to remove the protective case. If damage occurs without the school issue issued protective case intact, the school insurance policy is null and void. Now let's go to the interview of the week, top trending, and have the GMS sports update. Have a great, great week, everybody, and remember to stay safe. I enjoy Central 9 because I have an amazing teacher who teaches the Aviation Flight and Operations program and he really just makes learning fun and through Central 9 I'm able to turn my passion into a career. One of the, my biggest favorite parts about this program is you're going to be learning to work on these machines and this, what you're learning in here is exactly what you're probably going to do out in the actual work field. I like my class right now because I want to work with children or people and it's giving me a taste of what it's going to be like and I'm taking trainings that prepare me for being in the classroom with working with young children and what to expect. I like being part of a CTE program such as Central 9 because it allows me to understand and learn more about different career pathways and get to know what it's really like in that type of field. It also allows me to learn more about myself and what I want to do with my life. I love C9 because it helped me figure out when, what I wanted to do after high school because my instructor really motivated me to find out what I love to do. I like CTE because at Central 9, I get to exercise my individual interests that aren't necessarily part of the program. Most of the classes here are college dual credit, so all of us students are enrolled in some type of dual credit with a college. We are earning college credit and high school credit at the same time. You make a lot of friends here. You learn to do things that you never thought you'd need to know. And you definitely have an amazing environment of students who are all ready to learn and very excited about what they're learning. This class has taught me that I am more prepared for how I want to go into my career, what part of my career I want to go into because there's a bunch of different options and has really helped me to understand what is expected in the industry. CTE has really impacted me because it shows me what my career is like in the real world and if I really want to go into that or not. Welcome to the GMS News Show. 
Interview of the week. I'm Maya Horner today here with a special education instructor, Miss Warner. How are you doing today? I'm great, thank you. How are you? Would you like to start by telling us a little bit about yourself? Um, uh, I grew up on a farm in southern Indiana, and I went to Indiana University. My degree is actually in psychology, sociology, and criminal justice, and so I started life as not a teacher, and then after 10 years of doing a work at a psychiatric facility. I went back to school, got a master's degree in education, and started working with middle school kids. Would you, what do you like to do in your free time? I love to read books. <laughs> and I like to spend time with my family, and I like to bake. Do you have any pets? I have one cat. Um, my other cat passed last February. They were sisters, so now I have a lonely sister cat named Rocky. Oh, well, I have three dogs and one passed away like two years ago. Why did you decide to, decide to work here? Um, a long time ago, a long time ago, uh, there was a wonderful woman named Mrs. Noblet, and she was our principal here at the middle school. And I had worked with her previously when I was doing some work at Center Grove Middle School. And so we had met and talked, and Greenwood Middle School seemed like a really good fit for me. And so a job came open, and she called me. Where do you like to go on vacation? I love to be in the Caribbean. Um, I love to island hop, and I love the history of um, all of the islands. I like to talk to the people who live there and uh, get their perspective on the historical things that make them what and who they are. Thank you for coming on our show today, Miss Warner. Have a great week. Thank you so much, you guys too. Hello, welcome to Top Trending, where we share the top, weird, and trending stories of the week. I'm Jackson. And I'm Lillian. Let's get started with number three. According to NPR, game designer Max Krager wanted to document the weirdest McDonald's fast food store in the world. He created a project called Non-Standard McDonald's to celebrate themed McDonald's restaurants. There is a gothic cellar, McDonald's in Poland, Fry and Shake, Monstrosity in Los Angeles, and more. Soon, Max Krager will visit 12 non-standard McDonald's with a film crew to tell their stories. According to NPR, an ocean expedition exploring more than a mile under the surface of the Atlantic captured a silly sight. There was a sponge and a pink starfish sitting next to each other that looked very much like SpongeBob SquarePants and Patrick. A scientist named Christopher Meh and timidly noticed the underwater creatures resemble us to the animated buddies. He posted about them and let some hopefully added faces and legs. Hopefully these two friends will stay at the bottom of the ocean. Number one, according to kidsnews.com, building with Lego makes teenager Connor Brennan feel right at home. So the Lego whiz kid has taken on the challenge of building his home down Adelaide. When finished, the city model will contain more than 15,000 bricks and is the latest pride and joy for the Redwood Park residents. Hello, GMS News Sports. This is Abraham Mendoza. Boys tennis um, will be at 4.30 p.m. going against Paul Hadley. And girls golf away will be at 5 p.m. versus Clark Pleasant and cross country versus Indian Creek and Clark Pleasant at 5 p.m. at home. On Tuesday, boys tennis will be at 5 p.m. Santa Grove Middle School and at seventh grade, volleyball will be versus Beach Grove at 5 p.m. at home. Girls golf will be going against Martinsville at home at 4 p.m. 4 p.m. at Wednesday, and 7th and 8th grade volleyball will be against Plainfield at home at 5.30 p.m. Girls soccer will also be at 5.30 p.m. going against Clark Pleasant, and boys soccer will be at 6.45 going against Clark Pleasant. 7th and 8th grade football first will be against Perry Meridian 
at home starting at 5.30 p.m. Boys Tennis Round 1 of Mid-State will be at Decatur at 5.30 p.m. on Thursday. Girls Golf will be at Mid-State Tournament will be a Mid-State Tournament at 4.30 p.m. on a Friday. Have a great week.